Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. Welcome back. Yes, welcome advanced students to advanced class number 37. Here we are. All right, yes, and uh, we're starting off with a little review, a little review, un repasso, a review of, uh, of what we saw yesterday. We were practicing, well, the negative infinitive. Don't go, I said, don't go there. What did I say? You, to you told me, or what did I tell you? I told you not to go there. I told you not to. Okay, now we can say ask as well. It's a bit softer. He asked me not to go there. He told me not to go there. He told me very strong. He, I, I told you not to put your feet on the table. Listen, I've already asked you politely three times not to put your feet on the table. So please don't do it anymore. I said, please call me before nine o'clock. You told me to call you before nine o'clock. I said, please don't call me before six o'clock. What did I tell you? You told me not to call you before six o'clock. They said, don't call unless it's urgent. What did they tell us? They told us not to call unless it was urgent. Okay. Don't forget to wear your seatbelt. What did they tell us? They told us not to forget to wear our seatbelt, or else, I suppose, if, we, if I say we. Don't wake up the baby. What did they tell me? They told me not to wake up the baby. Don't eat all the food before the guests arrive. What did they tell me? They told me not to eat all the food before the guests arrive. Okay. The police officer said, Kyle, don't park in that area. What did he tell me? He told you, Kyle, he told you not to park in that area. Or maybe he asked me, he said, listen, please, don't park in that area, okay? So if, if he asks me, then it's, it's, um, it's softer, right? Please, look, if you don't mind, could you park somewhere else? He Okay, what did he do? Well, he asked me not to park there. It's not illegal, but he asked me not to do it because he needs to park there when he comes back, and it's right next to his house, and, uh, you know, he has some things to carry from his from the top floor down to the bottom, and so he has, he has asked me not to park there. But then the policeman comes along and says, it's illegal, don't park there. So he told me not to park there. So this is the emphasizing the difference between to tell someone to do something and to ask them to do it. To ask them, hey, look, would you mind? Please, you know, if you don't mind, please don't park there because I really, I really need that place myself, you know? Okay? They told me not to go there. They told me not to do it. They told me not to continue. They told, I told you not to, not to get so obsessed with this. I told you not to get so obsessed with the uh, computer game. You know, people get obsessed with computer games. I told you not to get obsessed with the game, okay? I told you not to get addicted to cards. I told you not to smoke. It's addictive. I told you not to do anything, bec do that because you have an addictive personality. I told you not to. Infinitive. The negative infinitive, folks. It's not so hard. I, I, don't worry about it. I told you not to worry about it. Okay? It's not so hard. Let's move on. <laughs> expression of the day. Oh, yes, it's time now for our expression of the day. The expression of the day is black sheep. Black sheep, yes, a black sheep, oveja negra, a black sheep. A black sheep is a person 
<laughs> well, uh, well, the sheep, well, a, a, a black sheep itself would be un, una oveja negra, but normally the sheep are white. So a sheep that is black is often excluded from the group. Okay, so here, this is a person who is essentially excluded from a family or shunned by a family. We could say the black sheep of the family is someone who is maybe a disgrace to the family because he does something that the, his family members cannot cannot respect. So he's a disgrace to the family. So they they don't respect him and they often exclude him from many things, although he is a, he's a member of the family. Or maybe even in a group, someone in a team who, who does things differently and uh, loses the respect of the team or the group can be can be considered a black sheep. So they often have to be more independent and do things on their own because they're not accepted into the group. A black sheep, oveja negra, that's our expression of the day today, ladies and gentlemen, black sheep. All right. So moving on now, we have the expression to run out of, quedarse sin, to run out of, to run out of sugar, to run out of time. We're not running out of time. We've got plenty of time, but but we can run out of time, and we will. Later on, in about 10 minutes, we will run out of time, okay, to run out of sugar, I'm running out of sugar in my kitchen. I have to go buy more because I'm running out of sugar. Mm -hmm. We're running out of food. We have to go shopping. We're running out of food. My pen is running out of ink. And then when it is out of ink, then I will throw it away. So we have this, this structure, to run out of. But to run out of is essentially the process of depleting some resource. Is the earth running out of oil, petroleum? Some people think so. I mean, I suppose, it, I mean, it, it, we are, I we are running out, but are we running out at a pace, at a rate that is too quick? Are we running out fast? Are we going to be out of, of oil soon? I don't think so. No, no, no. We have plenty, I, I, I believe. But... If we keep consuming oil at the pace at which we consume it now, we will run out. Absolutely. We will run out of oil. We are running out of oil. So to run out is to become depleted. The process of becoming depleted. To be out of something. So we're running out, we're running out, we're running out, and then there's none left. We are out. I'm running out of sugar. I'm running out of sugar, and I go and I make one more cup of coffee. I'll put all the rest of the sugar in my coffee. Uh, what? Oh, we're out of sugar. We don't have any sugar left. We're out of sugar. I knew we were running out, but I didn't know we were completely out of sugar. Yeah, we're out of sugar. We can run out of reasons. We can run out of excuses. What are the reasons? There are no, there's no reason for your behavior. You have run out of excuses. You have used excuses over and over to justify your bad behavior, and now you have completely run out of excuses, mister. You are out of excuses to run out of excuses. How often do you run out of milk? Milk. How often do you run out of milk? I run out of milk mm, once a week. I run out of milk. I don't buy milk until I run out. Until I am out. That way it stays fresh, I suppose. Did you run out of bread yesterday? Yes. I ran out of bread yesterday. It's true. I ran out of bread yesterday. Do the stores ever run out of things that you're looking for? Yes, the stores sometimes run out of things that I'm looking for. They do. They run out of things that I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Now ask me, pregúntame, ask me if I'm running out of questions. Kyle, are you running out of questions? Are you running out of questions? No, I'm not running out of questions. I have, uh, as your student guide says, un sinfin de preguntas. And I love that expression in Spanish. 
there is no end. I have I have an infinite source of questions and th- and things that I would like you to ask me. For example, ask me if I'm worried that I'm going to run out of questions. Kyle, are you worried that you're going to run out of questions? No. I'm not worried that I'm going to run out of questions. Ask me if I'm afraid that I'm going to run out of things to say. Kyle, are you afraid that you're going to run out of things to say? No. No. We have such a such a great language. There's so much to the English language. There's so much that I can say that I can keep talking nonstop. I'm not afraid that I'm going to run out of things to say. I don't lie, a be- lie awake in bed worrying. Oh, no, I might run out of things to say. No, 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 no. I never worry about that. I never worry that I might run out of things to say. So ask me if I am completely out of questions. To be out of. Ask me if I'm completely out of questions. Kyle, are you completely out of questions? No, I'm not. I'm not completely out of questions. I haven't run out yet. I still have many questions. I'm not out of questions yet. But I do think, even though I'm not out of questions, even though I'm not even running out of questions, I have many, many questions left. Even though I have many questions left, I think it is time to move on. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it is that time. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, for the vocabulary of the day. Yes, the vocabulary of the day. Sequestrar is our first word. Ooh, verb. Not a very nice verb. You know, I would not like to have this happen to me. Sequestrar. The verb to kidnap. Kid, K-I-D, N-A-P. Kidnap. Kidnap, kidnap, kidnap. Sequestrar. To kidnap. Number two, omitir. To, and, and at home you're saying to omit. And yes, it's true, but we have a phrasal verb, folks. A phrasal verb for this. To leave out. To leave out. Oh, man, you left out the important details. I hope I, hope I don't leave out the, wor- the vocabulary of the day today. No, I didn't, because I'm doing it right now. I won't leave it out. I hope I didn't... I didn't leave out the expression of the day, did I? No, I didn't leave it out. You talked about it, Kyle. You said black sheep. That was the expression of the day. You didn't leave it out. You didn't omit it. Okay? Concepto. Partida. Item. Item. Closing the lips. Item. Cerrando la boca. Item. Very good. Item. Agradecer. To appreciate. Agradezco tu esfuerzo. I ap- it's true. Sí, agradezco mucho tu esfuerzo, eh? Pero en serio. I appreciate your effort. To appreciate. Appreciate. Todo el tiempo. All the time. All the time. All the time. Again, closing my mouth like item. All the time. You have to close your mouth with the letter M, ladies and gentlemen. It's very important. Okay? I think I'm running out of time for the vocabulary, so I'm going to move on to talk about our last point of the day. I didn't want to forget this. I'm glad I remembered. I'm glad I remembered to talk about the verb to remember. I'm glad I had this sheet I have a sheet here. I have, well, my student, my copy of the student guide, and I have some notes. And they remind me. They reminded me to talk about the verb remind and remember. Remember and remind. Remind me to remember. Help me to remember. Well, in fact, we're not going to talk about remind and remember. Just remember today. Remember. So to remember can be followed by infinitive so remember is, is internal. It's in your brain when you have a memory or an idea in your head. To remind, I will mention it now, the, to remind is, is external something that causes you to remember. Okay? But remember means you, you have the memory. You're, you, you're thinking about the thing in your head. So you don't need to, if, if you remember something, you don't need to be reminded. 
you don't have to remind me because I, I will remember by myself. Okay? Now, remember plus gerund plus I-N-G is used when we're, to, when we're making reference to un recuerdo, a memory. I remember seeing Niagara Falls. I remember visiting New York City for the first time. What an exciting feeling. I remember visiting it. I remember seeing the, the Empire State Building. I remember seeing the Statue of Liberty. I remember taking the Staten Island Ferry and seeing the Statue of Liberty from the Stat- Staten Island Ferry. Yes, I remember gerund. So, going back to a memory. And then remember to plus infinitive is no olvidar de hacer algo. Okay? Se trata de, de algo que no, debemos, que no debemos olvidar de hacer. So, remember, remember to buy groceries. Kyle, remember to buy groceries. Okay, all right. I remember living in Canada. Of course I do. I remember living in Holland. I lived in Holland for a few months. I remember living in Holland. I remember being there. I remember plus gerund. Then remember to infinitive. I have to remember to discuss this verb. Also, I have to remember to finish this show on time. Mm-hmm. I have to remember to buy milk on my way home. I have to remember... To call my mother next week. I have to remember to call my mother when it's her birthday. Sometimes my brother reminds me to call my mother when it's her birthday. He reminds me. He helps me remember. Okay, to remind is essentially to help someone remember. Okay? But remember to, infinitive, remember to do something. Remember to buy milk. Remember to call your mother. Remember to talk about this structure. Whereas remember with with ing with gerund is to have a memory of something. I remember seeing him ten years ago. I remember seeing him when he was a boy. I remember seeing Star Wars, the original Star Wars movies in the theater. I remember seeing them. So I'm sending. I'm using my brain, my memory to go back to old memories, and I'm recalling those memories. Okay. Do you remember the expression of the day? Black sheep. Yes. He's an outcast from the family. He is a black sheep. And that is out of time. And I I have to remember to finish because we're completely out of time. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow with more. My name is Kyle. Stay tuned for some more great programming here on Vaughn Radio. But I'm done for now. But I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.